happy Friday. I hope all is well. So I wanted to make a video and I was inspired by two people <laughs> to still continue to make videos just regarding my process of, you know, trying to find a job. And I said, even though, you know, I'm living off of credit cards right now, I'm still going to do a budget. So I'm going to do my October budget and I don't have, um, you know, <laughs> a job right now. And I'm going to be very transparent in this video because, you know, that's just the way to go. So I won't be tithing. This is an old budget. Um, so we have nothing in, the, in an emergency fund right now. Nothing in savings. Nothing in a house fund. Um, one of the things that I've been doing, well, many things is, you know, applying for jobs. And let me tell you guys, <laughs> applying for jobs is a full-time job. To find a job, it's, it's so, it's so time consuming. It's frustrating. Um, yeah, it's, it's very frustrating. I receive... Rejection emails daily. Um, and when I say it's time consuming, I literally have to, you know, tweak my resume with every position that I'm applying for to make sure those keywords match up. Um, and honestly, I get tired of doing that. I'm not going to lie. Sometimes I will apply without even doing that. Um, but recently I had a uh, job interview for a private company and I'm waiting to hear back I'm still waiting to hear back on an interview that I had literally 22 days ago on September 1st they are still interviewing so normally you know also sending out follow-up emails of course I'm still waiting to hear back from an interview another interview that I had so that's three so far right um for an administrative assistant position which is kind of like payroll um for a food and beverage company so it's just a bunch of applying a bunch of waiting a bunch of you know following up and it gets frustrating waiting and I know some of you may say like well Crystal you know why don't you apply for jobs that don't make as much which I have the administrative assistant position that you know I'm waiting to hear back from um I applied at McDonald's you guys um not saying that there's nothing wrong with McDonald's but I applied at McDonald's and I got a rejection letter because I'm overqualified I even went into a McDonald's and was like, hey, I see you guys are hiring. And, you know, I also filled out the application. And this was for, like, a manager position. It was $20 an hour for a manager position. And although I do not want to work in fast food, but I was like, you know, I have to do something. I don't want to continue to be in credit card debt. Um... You know, I don't want to can have that debt continue. Right now, I'm probably up to, um, let me see. Capital One was $1,818. Um, let me check my Discover, because I want to get that correct. But, um, yeah, you know, it's it's been it's been a journey <laughs> it's been a journey i did not expect to be out of work this long um you guys know if you've been subscribed to my channel for a while you know i've been out of work before and have always bounced back rather quickly so it's just a different feeling of not being 
in control and not bouncing back as quickly as I did before. Um, okay, so my Discover card, my balance is $2,930. So right now I'm at $4,748 in credit card debt. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't like this number. I'm used to seeing this number in my emergency funds. Um, you know, but I'm going to always try and be positive. Um, I'm grateful and I'm thankful that I even have these credit cards to pay my bills and pay my rent with. Um, the reason why my discover is so high is because I did take out cash advances in order to pay my rent. So I ended up paying my rent um, up until November. So my rent's not due again till November. That is why this is $0. Um, yeah, and I'm just plugging my bills in. Um, so some of you may be asking, well, what about unemployment? Yes. Um, I ran out of my unemployment for the quarter, uh, maybe mid August and I wasn't able to reapply until the 17th. So I have reapplied. Um, I do have about 66,000, um, of like, I guess, you know, unemployment funds, um, that they will divvy up you know, quarterly as I need it. So, you know, when that does get approved and everything, I will start to get unemployment again. And that will be, um, let me see, per week, $400. Um, hopefully I'm mapping right. Okay, so what is that, 360? Um... Okay, yeah, so $360 is what I'll have per week for unemployment until I get a job. Um, so what I'm going to do once I start to receive the unemployment checks, I am going to um, probably use half and pay off what I can pay for my bills. And then the other half, um, split that up between the two credit cards. So my goal is to not have to use credit cards. So now, um, also my other goal is to, um, you know, have a job by November. <laughs> um, if, you know, if not, I have to do another cash advance and pay my rent. Um, but maybe not, and I'm saying maybe not because my dad did say to me that he's going to give me a thousand dollars until I get a month until I get back on my feet, which will help a lot. Um, you know, when he does give me that thousand, it'll probably be like next week sometime. Um, when he does give me that, I am going to put um, 500 on both credit cards, you know, 250 and 250. And the other five, I am going to um, probably pay, uh, pay these bills for October. Um, I do, or, or September, because I do have to pay my electric bill that's due on the 28th, as well as my car insurance that's due on the 28th. Life insurance was paid on the credit card. Cell phone was paid on a credit card. Um, I have a half a tank of gas. I do have some cash on me um, when I got the cash advance. Uh, I took about $1,200 cash advance. Um, so I kept some of that money just to have for like gas, some groceries, Oh, and regarding groceries, I'm going to put zero because I do get food stamps while I have no income coming in. Now, once that unemployment hits, um, I'm only going to have about $23 in food stamps. I know, it's, it's ridiculous. 
Um, but I haven't started to get the unemployment yet. And also, you know, they may take me off of Medicaid as well. Um, prayerfully, they don't because, you know, I can't afford medical and afford my bills too. Um, RJ still has his 15 pound bag of food. Um, me, I will give myself maybe $50. Um, I, my dad will probably give me that. If I tell him I need money, he'll give it to me. And, you know, just with this happening, um, it's made me, well, I guess I feel sad in a way because my dad is always like, you need money, you need money. And I'll say, no, no, I'm okay. Like knowing I'm not okay. And it's just, I feel like, I mean, I know that, you know, I know a parent is supposed to be there for their child no matter what, you know, even when they become adult. And that is his, you know, his thought process as well. And I've always said, you know, I'm going to take care of my parents and you know buy them a home and make sure that they don't have to worry about anything and I mean I I know that I'll still be able to you know achieve that goal and be there for my dad once I get back on my feet but it's just the getting back <laughs> getting back on my feet and making a, a really good salary like I I pride myself on you know well I'm sure everyone does but I pride myself on really wanting to make a nice amount of money so that I can you know can start paying on these student loans and you know give to my dad um and it's just like <sighs> learning patience you know um learning that it's okay to not be okay. Um, learning, uh, yeah, learning that it's okay to ask for help. And I've always had a hard time asking for help because I've always been, and I mean, I still am, but I've always been the money person, you know? People always come to me for money advice or <laughs> let's keep it real, even for money. And, you know, it, it's just not having that control or not have, yeah, not having that control um, to be able to, you know, give if I want to and just do the things that, you know, I want to do. So thank God because I'm not working or anything right now. Um, I don't have any student loan payments due. At least I don't for October. I did sign up for the IDR. Um, so it had a zero balance, but I still want to contribute because this number is not it. Like, oh man, this number is not it. But, um, you know, I still want to be debt free and be consumer debt free because these credit cards are like killing me. Every time I take out a cash advance, they're, they're, you know, taxing it or the interest is 35%. And it's just like, oh my gosh, but like I have to pay my rent, I have to pay my bills. And I told my dad, I was like, dad, I sleep in my car if I have to. And he's like, what kind of father would I be if I, if, if my daughter is sleeping in a car? And I was just like, well, you know, I just, I just really don't vibe with his significant other that I mean I don't even like being around her that's kind of how I feel but um yeah but he was like what kind of father would I be if I allow you to sleep he was like you're not going to sleep in a car 
Um, and I'm like, I know, and it's not going to get to that point. Um, I'm working really hard to find, you know, a job. Um, and I know some of you guys might be saying like, well, work as a receptionist or, you know, go to fast food. And it's just like, I, I've put my pride aside. Um, maybe like the first couple months I was like, oh, I'll get something. I don't want to do this or do that. Um, and now it's like, okay, I just need something like, um, I recently applied at a grocery store. I'm waiting to hear back, you know, just to get some kind of income in because I need to get these credit cards paid, just get the income coming in. Like I'm ready to move from my apartment that I've been at for about eight years. I'm just kind of over this space now. And I'm just ready to, you know, um, I'm just ready for better, you know? Um, but yeah, so in the midst of applying for jobs, I've been back into my word, reading the Bible, having prayer. Um, I still have not gone to a church yet, guys, but <laughs> I'm going to, I, I, I just have a hesitancy regarding um church uh i've been i guess not i've been involved not so much a victim but been involved in what's called church hurt where church hurt is when something happens in a church that you know affects the affects the church or you feel that you can't like trust the pastor or his teachings if you hear something happen so for example you know i know someone that was married and was dealing with the pastor having an affair with the pastor and the pastor was married and since then i was just like although it wasn't my business or anything but i kind of knew about it firsthand because i knew the person that was you know having the affair and it's just like if you suppose how are you saving my soul or feeding my soul and you are sinning how are you preaching every sunday and you're sinning like that just didn't sit right with me and even like other churches that I've been to, it's just drama. And I'm just like, you know what? It just kind of swayed away, you know, swayed, had me sway away from the church, if I'm being honest. But anyway, so yeah, so that has kind of been what's going on. I definitely may do some vlogs, try and get out the house more. Um, I'm really a homebody. And... <laughs> You know, like now that I don't have income coming in, I don't want to use my credit cards, you know, to on BS. And I started to use my credit cards on BS, like DoorDash and, you know, getting my nails done. And I'm like, I, no matter what goes on, I'm going to keep my nails done, you know. And it's just like I have to really kind of be bare bones even with you know without having income like with these credit cards like you know would pay what needs to be paid and that's it um i have to take uh rj to the vet on monday and i have to pay with a <laughs> I have to pay with a credit card um and I'm just like, oh my gosh, it's it's giving me some anxiety a little because, you know, the vet, they're going to run it up, y'all. They're going to run it up. And RJ's like limping. There was a mouse in my apartment that he was like ugh, playing with. And I thought he killed it and the mouse was playing dead. So when I tried to like scoop it up, the mouse ran and RJ's, you know, he's like literally playing with this mouse. And I'm just like freaking out because I, I hate rodents and bugs and everything like that. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, like, 
<laughs> I had a whole anxiety attack and everything, you guys. But nonetheless, he's limping now. And I'm like, okay, did he step? On, did, did the mouse bite him? Did he step on? Like, what? You know, got to figure out what's going on with him. But, um, yeah, I just say all of that to say I wanted to come on here and just kind of explain myself why you guys haven't seen me. And I was telling, you know, the two people that I was talking to, I was like, you know, I'm not making videos anymore because I don't have anything to stuff. And, you know, uh, the people that I was speaking to, they were like, well, you know, make a video, talk about what's going on, like, talk about the other side, how it is, you know, difficult to try and find a job. And I'm like, yeah, because it's supposed to be September surge, like, the jobs is supposed to be popping. And don't get me wrong, they're posted. I'm applying, but it's not working out in my favor. Like, I'm still waiting to hear back from three positions. And I'm just like, a little irritating I'm following up with them not trying to be a bugaboo and it's just like oh my god like lord you know what I stand in need of you know what what has to be paid you know I claim that I'm debt free I claim that I'm a homeowner I claim that I'm able to you know be a cheerful giver and be able to support you know the people that I want to support and everything like that but it's just my time ain't God's time. And that's a, <laughs> that's something I have to keep saying to myself too. My time ain't God's time. And it's just like, but God, like, you know, these bills not going to pay themselves now unless you, you got something on the inside that you about to, you know, just handle it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I, I apply for jobs on the daily like on the daily and it's getting boring if I'm being honest uh it's like now I don't know what I'm excited to do I don't know what I want to do I feel like now I'm applying for jobs for survival than applying for jobs for a career and that kind of saddens me just because I have you know all this education I have you know, passions for things like I like budgeting and doing finance stuff. And, you know, I miss writing, but I feel like I'm not in a the headspace to write because I'm so focused on getting income. You know, writing a book is not going to give me income. Um, you know, even when I publish you know, it's not going to give me all of the income that I need. Um, so, yeah, I'm sorry if, if I'm starting to ramble, but that's just, you know, kind of where I'm at, kind of what's been going on and just really waiting. You know, I, I'm, I'm in I'm in the waiting stage and I have to figure out how to keep busy while I'm you know, in this, in this season, God has me sitting for a reason. And I, I need to know his steps for me. You know, I need him to order my steps. Like what is the next job that I'm supposed to have? You know, so we'll see guys, just continue with me on a journey. I know I lost some of y'all probably because I haven't been posting. I mean, I have gone live a couple times, but um, I probably need to do it on the weekends when you guys are not working and busy and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, that's just, this is just my life right now. This is just a part of, you know, my journey and things will get better. Um, and when it does, you know, I'm just going to be, be thankful and be grateful and, you know, I'm praying for a job that has an amazing, positive environment. People are respectful and just overall kind, you know. Um, and I, I enjoy doing the work or I enjoy learning the newness of the role, you know, to where 
it's like okay I don't want to leave here like I want to be here forever and that's another you know work wise but that's another thing like I don't want to continue to job hop um if you guys are familiar with Caleb Hammer I watch his channel he does financial audits on people where he looks at their finances and kind of set up their budget and he talks a lot about investing and based on the person's age um you know how much they've invested based like how much debt they have and everything like that and when i think about my age being 38 i will be 39 in three months i can't believe it but you know being 38 and not having anything in retirement nothing in retirement the 401ks I've had, I've cashed them out because you, if you no longer work at the jobs, you can't keep the money with them. I, I never rolled over anything into a Roth IRA. The Roth IRA that I have, I have a couple stocks, but it's nowhere near, you know, maxing out um, every year. And it's just like <laughs> with this next glow up that I'm going to have, you know, with the job making really good money, I and I'm I may sound like a broken record when I say this, but I'm going to do things differently. Like I, I'm going to have to be on a bare bones budget for a while. Get that, um, you know, get the credit card debt taken care of. Start paying on the student loans. Start, you know, just saving for my future. Definitely putting more into my 401k and maxing out that Roth. Um, those are definitely the goals because I don't I don't want to be 65, 70 with nothing, you know. So definitely want to get it together. Um, but yeah, I just ask you guys, just keep me in prayer. Um, you know, um, I have my days, but for the most part, you know, I'm I'm good. I'm not complaining. I'm just doing what I got to do. So I will see y'all in the next video. Be blessed and have an amazing night. Bye, y'all.